David David, from Florida. David from Florida. Wow. Nice to see you, David. Happy to see you. Okay, so well let's start. Okay. So as we are approaching now the Yomta of Pesach, which is Pesach is the Hag Huamuna and Ahave. It's a special Yomtif, which it, every person, every Jewish person gets his soul gets awakened with a have a tremendous ahava that people feel towards Hashem. As we see that in all kinds of folks of the all, all the Jews all over the world, from non from the majority of all the Jews, everyone is sitting by Seder. Kosher, not kosher, but it's, it shows that an awakening of a person he feels that he has to celebrate something. It's because Yom Tov of Pesach is the Yom Tov of, of it's Kenegit of Avram. There's three Shalash Regalim, and the first one is, starts with Pesach. Pesach is Kenegit Avram. Avram is Avram Oyhavi. Avram is he's, he's Chesed. He's the start. He's the he's, he starts with Chesed. Chesed is Ahave. Avram is Ahave. So we have the Yerusha from from the others, from Avram, we have Ahava Sashem. And when it comes to the Yom Tov of Pesach, which is Keneged, which is Keneged Avram, every person gets awakened by the Ahava Sashem. So there's a love, something, every person gets inspired. There's a love which leads us and makes us, each and every one of us, to celebrate. And that's why so many Jews, millions of Jews are sitting by Seder, and somehow celebrate. Yeah. You know, you find all over people, unfortunately, even reform and everyone, and you can find even non-Jews saying, yeah, I was sitting by Seder, I had the matzah ball, whatever it was, I don't know if it was matzah or not, chomets, it doesn't matter, <laughs> but it, it still shows that something in their soul, the neshama is awakening, something they feel they have to sit by Seder. Uh -huh. It's something there, that's why they're sitting by Seder. And I had once that I've also not just bringing out this point very strongly once. That's why all the Jews are sitting by Seder. And we can say, you know, we know Yom Tiv of Pesach has so many Chumris and Hidurim. And the biggest cut of success from the Vashem Tev. In general, the Vashem Tev, he said, the biggest cut was the Talmud of the Vashem Tev from the first generation of Hasidim. So the Vashem Tev didn't like Chumris too much. And one of the reasons is because every, sometimes Chumris is symptom, it's din. You know, the way a person sometimes is makpit and everything, you know, it, it, the Shoydish sometimes is Gevure, which, which gets the person to live a life of dinim, to be in symptom and dinim. So that's why I didn't like Chumris besides Pesach. Pesach is the time that all the Chumris and all the Yedurim is accepted. Like I asked today, someone told me about a minik, and I asked him, why are you doing that? And not a minik, and I certainly hit there, whatever. And I asked him, what's, what's the source of it? And so a different person standing there commented right away, Pesach, you don't ask why. Whatever, you know, we do everything, and there's so many Yedurim, so many Chumris that, we, that people are doing in Pesach, and one of the reasons is because the Chomets is the Yitzhahara and we, we try to, to erase totally the Yitzhahara, to get him out of our life from Pesach. We get the Koyach Pesach, we are Nizr and Amashi Chomets, and this gives us the Koyach on the whole year to be able to win the battle with the Yitzhahara. But it might be also, there's the second point, because there's two ways our person could do a Chomret. A person could do it and it could, you know, like, you know, put pressure on him. It's like a little pressure. Even if he wants to do it and he likes to do it and he does it, but it's still like, it gives him a little, how you call it, a, a little um, tenua of, of kibbutz, of, you know, of tzimtzum. But there's also a different way a person could do chumris. I once said a very fascinating marshal. As you, you see a person, when he comes home at night, let's say, if you ever if you ever need to work late at night, 
you come home and the wife, the spouse is already sleeping. So you can walk in, it's your bedroom, and not only that, most probably you are you are the one who is supporting the family and you work, then you're supporting the family, the rent you're paying the, and everything. So you have all the rights to walk into your bedroom and just uh, get yourself ready, go to sleep. And if she wakes up, tough luck, you know. Uh, but if you really like her, so you'll tiptoe, you'll walk on your toes and you watch, you hold your very quietly and you'll hold your keys and make sure it doesn't make any noise. Shut off the light outside, you know, make sure 100% she shouldn't get, she should wake up. She should, she should be able to get a good light, night of sleep. So, so this is basically called a khumre. Khumre is something that you're doing sometimes out of love of Hashem, trying to be extra cautious to take extra steps to make sure that you don't get to be over on the, on the Aveda. So, Yom Tov Pesach, when there's so much Ahava there, you can see people, you know, it's sometimes fascinating, you know, walking to the matzah bakery, you see people, you know, from all over. They're coming from Baltimore, from all the places, they're coming down to New York to bake the matzahs, and everyone comes along with, you know, such such a chais, you know, some, such, it's such a kiddush Hashem to see people machmer, looking through every matzah, and all they want, rush matzahs, everyone do with his own durim and chumras and everything, which is really fascinating to see that, and it's done with, you know, they're excited to do it, because it's for the Yantav of Pesach, it's done through love, through Ahave, it's not done through, you know, like, um, how you call it, like obsessions, and um, or all kind of, uh, you know, stress. OCD, really. OCD like red. So, so you know, some people, you know, there are people who are busy, you know, some people take, are, are, if people are taking the place of cleaning too much pressuring, then I, they have to change course, you know, <laughs> they have to change direction. You know, they have to know what they're doing. And maybe for them, it's if it's too much pressuring, maybe they have to lower it. There's, there's a locus, which you can do it. It's kosher, even less, you know, just uh, had once a grand, uh, grandmother, she was by the doctor. She was a cousin of the Tzayn Rosh and she was with a doctor right before Yom Tov Pesach, and he walked in and I saw her. I don't know if she was there, but maybe her husband was, was also there. So, so he right away commented, oh, you work too hard for Pesach, that's why you have to go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. You should know, you take a broom and you, you broom the house, you take out the comets and it's Pesach. You know, sometimes <laughs> if it's too hard, you have to know there's a different way also. If you do it through love, through a habit, then keep on doing it. That's what that's what the Yom Tov Pesach is for. So we say the Mishnah says Kana Ben Shoyel. When we say Kana Ben Shoyel, the, the Swarim say that now is the place Haben each and us. We are born Bnei Menoche. We are children of Hashem. It's a time to Shoyel to ask from Hashem. Everyone should ask from Hashem whatever they need to ask. So it's. Everything done through, we are children of Hashem, we're sitting by the Seder, and we're going to sit by the Seder as children of Hashem and liberated children. We are not any more, any more Avodim, we are Bnei Melochim, we are being liberated from Mitzrayim, from exile. And now there is special Alochis, the way we have to sit by the Seder. We know everyone prepares a beautiful table, chairs, and everything. Now the Maril used to put all the all the silver, all the silver, the gold, the silver that he had, even though it was from Goyim, whatever, everything would put on the table because now is a special night. We need to celebrate it as Bnei Melachim. We are children. We are royal children. And now is the time to celebrate it this way. Why is it so? Now it's very interesting. We look in the Chinech. The Chinech gives the tam, Tama Mitzvahs. We know that there's, there's the, the Chinech always explains the sh, the sh, the source, the root, why, why the time of the mitzvah is. So he gives 12 mitzvahs, what we're doing by the Seder, everything has the same about explanation. And then at the end, he is asking, why do we need so many, so many mitzvahs for the same point? So he starts with mitzvah, hey, he starts, and oh, we don't have it on the copy, so we, the handout is the last one. So now, a mitzvah, hey, I will just, I'll just first just go over all the mitzvahs. So the first mitzvah is the mitzvah, you know, we have to shech the Quran Pesach. Now, what's the shayrish of the mitzvah? 
because the Eden should remember the Nisim Agdoilim, what Hashem did when we went out of Mitzrayim. So this is mitz- the first mitzvah. And then we go to the second mitzvah, mitzvah of the mitzvah of eating the Basar HaPesach. There's a mitzvah of eating it. What's the shayrish of the mitzvah? The same mitzvah, the same, the same shayrish that is wrote by the shechtik of the mitzvah to remember the Nisim Agdoilim, what Hashem did that he took it out of exile, of, of, of not of Golis, of Avdus, of, uh, of slavery. Now, this is the second mitzvah. Now we go to mitzvah Zion. Now there's a mitzvah. You shouldn't eat the mitzvah not raw or cooked. It should only be tzli. Tzli. Why? Why the why is it tzli? So he explains the shorsha mitzvahs because the derech of children of king of kings and, and sorem is to eat basar tzli, to eat um, um, grilled. Why? Because it's a good, it's a good tasty food. But all other people, they can't afford it because they only they can only afford little meat. And so therefore they want to cook it because it has more in it. But when you grill the meat, what happens is the fat goes out. So it's a little That's thinner. Good. So it's thinner. So because people who are hungry, they need to eat more, you know, in order in order in order to satisfy. satisfy. Now and now we are we are eating the corn pesach for the zichon. It's the corn that we went out lecheres to become a mamleches kahanim and a holy nation. So we have to the way we have to be noyek by eating is their chayres like people who are rich people saw him. And and second time he also explained that sli shows that we didn't have time to cook. We grill grilling is is is, is faster. Now we go to the mitzvah ches. Mitzvah ches is. Now there's a mitzvah, we shouldn't, no leftovers on the Karm Pesach. Why is it? So he explains the same reason as the Shech think. We should remember the Nisim of Mitzrayim, and we shouldn't, there shouldn't be any leftovers, because kings, they don't, they're not, they don't worry about for the next day, about keep having food for the next day. So therefore they eat everything. So, so we have to know we were Zeicha to be Malchus kingdom, the Jewish nation, our, our kingdom and gedile. Now we come to mitzvah test. Now there's a mitzvah to be to to uh, clean out the chametz. What's the shayrish of the mitzvah? Also explains because we should remember the nisim of Mitzrayim, the same as Karm Pesach. You know, matzah and roni mechni. We weren't allowed to eat it with chametz. Now it goes to mitzvah yit. Mitzvah yit is also, and we go to the mitzvah of eating matzah. What's the shayrish of the mitzvah? The same shayrish of the mitzvah as carbon Pesach. We should remember what happened to Mitzrayim. We ate matzah. Going out of Mitzrayim, we'll elaborate later the Chesidah Shipshat. But number one, that's what happened. We went out of Mitzrayim, so we are eating matzah. And we should remember what happened when we were in Mitzrayim, going out of Egypt of Mitzrayim. Mitzvah Yid Aleph. There's the next mitzvah also. There's a list that we, there shouldn't be any chametz left over in our possession. What's the reason of that? Also, we should remember the nisim that was done with us in Mitzis Mitzrayim. Okay? Next, was no time. We had to, everything, all the, all the, all the dough became matzah. There was no chametz. Mm-hmm. So we're not having any chametz in our home at Pesach because we should remember what happened then. Now we go to Mitzvah Yid Beis. Also the same thing. We shouldn't eat anything that has any, 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 any chametz in it. Although it's not mamish chametz, it's also the same shayrish of the mitzvah. Now he says, to be mechazik, the thing, Hashem gave us another mitzvah. Not, don't even eat, you know, not even blended chametz. Now mitzvah yidalit, now there's a mitzvah, you shouldn't give to eat from the food for a ger in a toyship. Now it's no racism involved, not because we don't like non-Jews, but the shayrish of the mitzvah is, so he explains, that because... There's the remember to remember Yitzis Mitzrayim because this carbon is a zecher of the cheris, and when we came afterwards in a bris with Hashem, so therefore it just this a, a carbon pesa for this particular food shouldn't eat someone who is not wholesome in the hezemune. Only those who are who are who are eaten, only those they 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 should eat. Okay, now we come to Mitzvah Tezvav. Mitzvah Tezvav, there's a Mitzvah. I skip one. One Mitzvah is Mitzvah Yid Gimel. Mitzvah Yid Gimel is also the, the Mitzvah, one Mitzvah before, 
We shouldn't give to eat from the Pesach for a Yid who's a Meshumet. Why? Because what happened, what happened when, we, when we came out from Mitzrayim? Came out of Mitzrayim, we went to Tachaskan for Ashkina, we, we cl- accepted the Torah by the marks by the Mount Sinai, therefore we cannot go to give it for someone, who, although he's a Jew, but since he's a Meshumet, converted to different religion, so we can't give him to eat from this food in this, when he's doing just the opposite that we did. We are Tachas Kampashkene, and he is on the way out. How he's atheist. Mekarev? If he wants to be, to, to be Mekarev, then he has to do Tshuva for eating the Karam Pesach. Because we're not talking someone who is, who is um, how you call it, non-observant. We're talking someone who's a Meshumat, converted to a different religion. So that, that's, that's a different, different stage. Now calls Mitzvah Tezvav, we're not allowed to take out from the Karam Pesach outside of the Chaburah. What's the Shoresh of the Mitzvah is also we should remember, we should remember that we are the Nisim of Mitzrayim, and we became, all of us, we are all um, leaders, kings, and we only eat it in the Mokim from the Chaburah, like the kings are eating everything at that, at their table. They don't have to bring from one, from one, from one table to a different room to serve somewhere else. But, but those who are hungry, and when they see good food, they take home. You know, there's good food, let's take it home. But a king has everything, whatever he needs. Now we go, now come Mitzvah Stezayin. Mitzvah Stezayin. So the, okay, so we only, I'll read the first page, and then you have the second and the third one. So Mitzvah Tezayin is the mitzvah not to break the bone from the Karm Pesach. So it says, what's the Shadish of the mitzvah? To remember the Nisim of Mitzrayim, and also from the same root that it's not a COVID for Bnei Melochim to, to chew bones and to break it like dogs. It's not only hungry people, they are eating this, this way. But you know, a king doesn't touch the bones, you know, it's not for him. And therefore, before, before we are now, as, as we are coming to become Gilas Kalo Amim, Mamleches Kahanim, Am Kodesh, every year we have to show, to do action that shows on us our special stage that we went up. We, we, we were elevated to, a, uh, to, uh, to, to, to those special level of becoming kings. And from now he, he finishes. And from this Maise, from this action and Dimian, Dimian means, you know, we're trying to um, imagine. Call, imagine the imagination that we are doing. We are going to be Kaveya to get us. It should be, we should really, how you call it? We should really um, become one, one with it. Like really live it. Join it. Join it, live it. We should know, we should live this point. Live the point that we were elevated to a level of becoming king, of becoming kings, and we're on a different stage at all. Now here he starts, Valtach Shebeni, so he starts with a question. You all have the hands out. So he's asking a question. Why is it so? Why should Hashem give us so many mitzvahs to do everything for the zikaron of the sameness? Why is it so? One memorization, zikaron echot, one thing, one memorization, do one mitzvah, we all know the shayrish, and we should remember that, it's enough. Why do we need 12 mitzvahs from the same point? We should know that, we shouldn't forget it. So he answers at it. It's It's not coming from a wise point, this question. You know, young minds, this is, this is what's instigating you. But my child, if you want, want to understand, Listen, I'll teach you something. I'll teach you something, which will help you. You should know. It's a very important point in whole life to remember this point. A person gets influence with his actions. The Liboy is hard. All his thoughts, his stomach are steady. After his action, she always said what he does with it. Im toif, to the good side, if he do, does good deeds, Im raf, does bad things. Even if a person is a real vicious person, whatever, all his thoughts and all his feelings are really bad and vicious. 
But in Yare Richoy, if he's going to awaken his soul, is is the Ruach, the Yosem, and his put is the Shadlisoy. It's a Shadlis, the Iskoy, the Oisig, the Basmodis, steady, the Toyre, the Mitzvis. He was, even though he himself is in his internal, his insights is bad, but he his action will be doing Toyre Mitzvis. Now, we're talking about a person that doesn't do it, Lashem Shemaim. He wants to get fame, he wants to be whatever, famous, doesn't matter. Miyat Yinote Elatoif will have an influence that will bend his heart to the good side. In the Koyach Masov, in the Koyach of his action, Yomis Hayetzer Hara, he will kill the Yetzer Hara. Why? After the action of Shochim Halavovis, is the heart it follows the action. A film he Adam Tzadi Gomer, he elaborates, even if a person will be a man, a Tzadi Gomer, a real Tzadi, will live over Yosher V'tomim, a real good-hearted person, go with someone who wants the Torah Mitzvahs, he wants Torah Mitzvahs, him ile Yasik Tomer B'dvorim Shel Doivi, he will be, his his Asik, his work will be with things who are not good, ki ili Toimer, der Chmoshel, gives a Moshel of, Shechricha Yamelech, the king is forcing him, in Menai, and he appoints him, the Imnesra in a bad job, Bamis, let's say he's a he has to whatever to kill people. For they deserve it. But this is but but he does it. In Bahamas, in Kal Isko, Tumit Kalayoba Simnes, if this is what he's going to do the whole day, Yoshib Lizmam and Azmanim, that's why he's going from Vizmam and Azmanim, he will turn the Tzitkis Liboy from his right ear. From his least Russia government to become a real vicious person, vicious person. It's known and it's emes she call Adam nifal kafi beloisa. Every person is being influenced by his action. Kamoshemane, like we said. So we go to the second page. That's why the Chachamim said Rotsa Amokem Lezakes is Israel. I wanted to be Mezakeh Yidden. Lefichach Hirbalem Toyre Mitzvah. That's why he gave them. More Torah mitzvahs. Why? What's the schus? Is it? You know, we have more chance, chances to fail. But on the other hand, if we do it, this behind, we should be occupied. Kol all our thoughts. Believe them. Kol We should only be busy with that. Why? We should be afterwards. We should be able to give us the to give us all the goods. from the good deeds. And if all them we are getting influence, these toivim the zoichim lechayat, we should be good, and we, through that we should be zoiche lechayat. That the Ramzi zechayin in bracha. That's the Ramaz. What they said in the Gemara Menachis. Call me sheyeshle mezizah the pischa. If someone has a mezuzah on his door, the tzitzes the big door, yes, tzitzes on his on, on himself. Tefillin beroche always goes around with tefillin. You know, there's some people in it's a to do it. Miftech leishle yachto. He's muftech. He won't. He, he won't sin. Why? These are steady mitzvahs. You always pass the door, back in and out. So you always have the you have you have the opportunity remembering the mitzvah, and you also have to fill on yourself. You have the the mitz the the tzitzis on yourself the whole time. If a nifal behem tumah we do it steady, so it's going to have an influence. Lachain ater therefore rei gamrai look and see ma malachtecha. What are you busy with? What's your job as kechu? What are you busy and occupied the whole day? Kachrayim to you will get pulled and influenced by the job. You won't have the influence on the job. The Yetzirah should never guarantee you. My heart is so whole. I have the moon. I believe in Hashem. My hefset, yeah, what am I going to lose? Kis anik, I'll enjoy if Omer betaniga and Oshim. I'll say it in a joy with certain people, the Shevis to sit, Bishvokim, you know, on the, on the Bishvokim, Bishvokim, sitting on the streets, you know, playing street corners, you know, they used to sit always in, and, you know, the crowds and talk and, and gossip and whatever. Les loitzit, and malaitzim, you know, to joke around with the leitzim, the jokers, the dabatzaches, you know, the, and, and talk, cheap talk, how you call it. Even those things, it's not something which is real sin. I have the same heart as those people. I have the same power as them. Why should they be able to pull me after them? 
Albany, my kid, don't do it. You should be nizer from that pet to lock it, berishta, maybe because you'll get trapped in their trap. You should, you should, your soul, you should save. After you know that, you shouldn't ask now, um, why we have so many mitzvahs to remember the nisim from Mitzrayim. This is the real main beam, how you call it, in our Torah. As more as we do with that, this will have a bigger influence on that, on us, and we'll be able to live it. So basically what he's saying is, which is a very fundamental point, and I could say Lehavdal also, we know it in CBT will also, the, the behaviorists will always be busy. You can have people going to all kinds of therapies, complaining, quetching about this and that. If you don't get your acts together, you start doing what you have to do, you'll keep on feeling bad. But if you start doing good, it will have an influence on you. So so this is in Gashmias. You know, some people, people are busy quetching and quetching and quetching and everything, they're not doing anything. And that's why they keep on quetching. And they will, and I promise you, they'll keep on quetching for the rest of their life if they don't get their acts together and do. Yes, sometimes some people, you know, they're really ill, you know, they're really traumatized. They need to get some trauma out. We're not talking about it. But even then, do something. Not just sit back and quetch. Because the influence, the influence they're doing has on the person is stronger than everything. And you, when you do good, you feel good, you feel great. It gives you the feeling and has a much a bigger influence than just talking and talking and talking. And therefore, we can do, and now coming back to the mitzvah, we can do one mitzvah and we can remember, but doesn't have the same impact and the same influence on us that we keep on doing and doing and doing and doing again and again and again. This is slowly, slowly having influence on us. And that's why he explains also we need to watch, to be very cautious, not to hang out with the not right people, not on the right social groups and all kind of these stuff, because you, don't, you won't remember that. You won't notice it, sorry. It's a slowly, slowly, slowly. They call it in a dance, they call it. What? A dance. In the, in, the, in the psychology world, they call it dance. Sometimes you start with a person dancing on one side of the hall, and slowly, 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 you find yourself in a different place. It's unnoticeable because you dance, you keep on, you don't focus. Very discreet. Uh -huh. Very discreet. Very discreet, right. So, and therefore, people are getting influence. You are not in the right chabure, you're not in the right neighborhood, you're not living with the right people, you're not hanging out, you're not eating the sudas with the right people. It's going to have an influence on you. And therefore, we have, oh, that's, that's why, that's the main yisod. That's, we look, you know, the chinuk was one of the rishonim. It was one of the rishonim, and that's where we always have to be cautious, to hang out with the right people, Faked, you know, those people, we sit by Fabrengas, we sit with Chassidim, we sit with the right people, right family members, right Chavairim, you know. And people sometimes think they can have bigger influence, but un unnoticeable. Sometimes it's just the opposite. They're getting influence instead of influencing others. Instead, what's if you're a shlich, we're a rabbi, then that's a different stage of mind. Because you're here to be mashpia, they're coming to listen what you're saying. But otherwise, you're just one of them, so they're having a big ashpo on them. So this is this is this is as we look at the mitzvah for matzah, and we see the matzah as the rishonim explain it to remember the tzitz mitzrayim and. Ma and Yitzhiz Mitzrayim is one of the main points. We became a nation. Our becoming of a nation was by Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. And that's why all the mitzvahs, we always have to remember Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. Why? Because the creation of the Jewish nation was Yitzhiz Mitzrayim. That's why we were liberated from slavery and we became a nation. It's a Am Ayyotzim Mitzrayim. It's a nation going out from Mitzrayim. We became the Am Hashem, right? Going out from Mitzrayim. Hashem, Hashem by himself, Anivale Malach, Anivale Sorov, and Hashem by himself, he went and he picked us all out from Mitzrayim. And each and every one, I think as a Khan of, of Pesach, we have to go over Perik Memvov Etanye and Perik Memzayin Etanye. Perik Memvov Etanye, he, he, 
he gives us the the he, he illustrates and uh, we should be able to imagine imagining a king going down with this whole cabinet and going to a person sitting in the mud dirty maneuver you know like smells from him bad like 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 you see the real your homeless people li- laying on the bench or somewhere in the corner and it's you know with all these clothes and everything now the king himself not sending one of his servants he himself goes and he himself picks the person up he takes him into his palace one room deeper 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 till it gets him to his own private room bedroom you no one no one can enter and he himself washes him off and he hugs him and he kisses him with such a love now this person is the tanya says even even says, even if he would have a heart of a stone his heart would just melt from love to, from love to this king and this is exactly what happened to mitzrayim we were in Memte Sharetume. We were slaves. You know, you remember, we were slaves for how many years? We're talking about 210 years. years slavery. We had children. You know, they used to marry the back then by the 30. So you're talking about many, many generations. You're talking about uh, like 15 generations of, of slavery. You know, it's, and Hashem himself came and he himself and even a Malach took us out and gave us Toyre Mitzvahs. When we learn Tanya, we know to understand it, appreciate what Toyre is. Mechabek is a Melech. She'ein, Hashem is hugging him and is uniting with us in the biggest unity that there, you can't, you, we have nothing incomparable in the Gashmiz Diga world. What's happened when we learn Toyre Mitzvahs. When we sit now, we learn. So when you sit Pesach, Pesach, you know, we always know that there is um but Yom Mahim Bizman Azeh every every Yom Tiv, when it comes to the time of the Yom Tiv, the same oiris that was back then are coming down back. So we always everything is coming back. So the same pace where we're sitting now, Tofshi Pei Gimel is the same time, but we went out of exile of Mitzrayim, the same oiris are coming down. So we're sitting now and everything we're living it over. We should live over, we try to imagine, use the imagination. And try to explain it to the children and imagine the state the you know the homeless person laying on the street and the president or whatever you'll take him i don't know whoever you respect whichever president you respect but doesn't matter you take him and takes him and into the oval office not in the oval office the private bedroom and he cleans him and washes him yeah we need to use a little imagination and we remember that we live it but we know to appreciate the love that Hashem shows us, an opportunity that we have, and by telling Yitzis Mitzrayim has the koyach of the, to, to really bring it in us, we should live it, and we should really experience it. So in bringing the experience, giving over the experience to our children, to our family members, friends, whoever is sitting at the table, they should also be able to, to live it over, and we take it from Yom Tif, when the Yontif passes, it didn't pass the Yontif. It's another Yontif in our life. It's another experience, another relationship, which always stays with us. And we keep on, as long as we live, we always have more, we add on relationships, more and more and more. It's all a zecher. Everything is a zecher. So it's a zecher, but that's what the, it's a zecher to remember why is it important. So when you learn Pshat, Nigla, it's just a zecher. You should remember your state state of mind but remember we all sit in an exile yeah we are now in exile we are now in Gaul. so what was the point of sitting by the table and putting all these gold stuff we should remember that we have b'nei malachim so it's not only remembering it's living it over but not only about we can we can see and we can see things in nicholas atoide we see things like it's as you said it's 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 just as a corn as a her she remembers she appreciates something but we learn primis atay, you learn see this, and you learn Kabbalah, you start learning, and you start seeing it's it's not only things that you do, it's experiences. So you experience whatever, whichever are is came then is ba- coming yeah. down now also. That's why we say Chekyonu, Vekimanu, Vigyonu, Lazmanaze. We are living it over. 
That's why if that were all the cities just wanted to keep on always saying it. You live over the same experience. So now one of the main mitzvahs of the that's the mitzvah of the rice we were still having. Now we don't have a chiles karm pesa, but we have a chiles matzah. So we're eating matzah. So we learned in the chinech the reason of matzah is to remember what happened back then. But now there's many questions here. What are the questions? You know, I think we should open up the kitatayre. We don't have enough time. Try to bring out a little the main points, and uh, you know, let's just go it over. Do you have the kitatayre? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's every book. Just take everyone should take one. Let's let's see inside. I can't Page Yud Gimel, thirteen. Pasha Tzav Tzav. Oh, I learned this. Oh, beautiful! So help us out. Yes, there's a lot. So there's the Sheishis Yom and Toichel Matzus. Yud Gimel, thirteen, thirteen. Um, 24 on the other side. 26, right? Yes. So we're looking on the Amadale. Yud Gimel. Yes, yes, you have it? Pasha Yeah. Okay, so there's on um, the bottom. Where? Where? Right bottom. What's the page number 24? On Yud Gimel, right? On Yud Gimel. Page number 20. Oh, I'm Alice. I'm Alice. Yes. Okay, here you go. Oh. You have it? Fish, yeah. Where are you starting from? Shashim Tegumatis. All the way down in the left side. Okay, now here's here's a few questions. You will answer your, your, your question also. Because he's asking, Turk Levayage. So the Posik says that the mitzvah to eat the matzah sheshes yom six days. In the seven days, that's it. So he's asking, Turk Levayage, the the Alter Rebbe is asking, Why should he eat six, de- six days? In the uh, before, the before, he said, Shiva seven, seven days. So he explains that ach, in the can, in a kavane, we have the kavane is not lahazer alazoras achilas matzve. The main point is not we should eat matze, but the main point is that the seven days should be atzeres. But he continues asking, why is it now? I will skip. Let's go to Lehoven. Now, two two rows. Lehoven, why? What's the Indian of Shaykhis? That the Kinnis Matzah, the six days of Matzah, should bring us seven day of Atzeres. Okay, now we go up to the start. So now, then he's asking also. Now he's asking a few questions, main questions. I'll just just read it out loud. I'm not inside. So he's asking a question. Number one is, why is it Biyomet Fiat Atzeres Hashem and Akecho? Is why? Why why is it a yom to the seven day? Because the seventh day was the nest of Kis Yamsi. So he's asking Pesach Mitzrayim Chomets were only one day. So uh, uh, so self understood, if Chomets was only one day, yes, the third row from the from the from the from the top. Yeah. It brings two groups on the uh Ruth Kim would say. Yeah, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. on the, the, the fifth one. Tzav, 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 go the back all the way, all the way, all the way in the yeah. front, the front, the front. You're in Pash the midbird. You are a state of a midway going to my equal. Page Yud Gimel. No, no, no. Go. The left side. Start from the beginning. Sorry. I'm on Yud Gimel. I don't see what you're talking about. This is my midway. Oh, oh, these are. Yeah, you can. Oh, oh, you see. It's Yud Gimel. Oh, here, sure, let's share. Sure. I thought it was the page. No, okay, before. so here you go. Now, one more. Where, where, where are you starting from? Where? So, so he's asking a few fascinating questions we need to understand. So, here you go. Okay, so over here he's asking, why is it so? Now he's asking, why is it so? Why is this, why is Shvisha Pesach coming up when we had Pesach in Mitzrayim? We only had one day of eating of eating matzah, and the rest was no mitzvah. There was only one mitzvah, the Arab Techna Matzah. So why is it all of a sudden that we have six days of eating matzah? So why is this the cause of the Yom Shvisha Atzeres bringing the seven days should be a Yom Tif? And now he's also the Gamla is asking why Shvisha Pesach is a Tzeres Hashem lekecho. Shvisha Tzeres lechem. Then now he's asking Gamla of why is the Yoyfi Sabotik Igis Matzis Kene Chometz. So he says we're eating the matzah. Why? Because it wasn't chometz. Why? The reason was because the Gigoshim in Mitzrayim they were rushed. 
rushed out of Mitzrayim, but they had no time. So, so we understand that the reason why they did matzis is the baked matzis because there was no time. But the truth is that Zetamu is asking because they had a history of eating a chomet that day. The, only, the Gemara Psochim of Tzadik Wolf says, so they couldn't eat, they couldn't eat chomets. So they had no right to bake chomets at all. So they had to bake matzah that night. They no so they had no choice. So why, is the, why are you giving the time of eating matzah kigosh mitzrayim? Now he's asking also, why by the God are you saying matzah ishen ochlam shimo? Why do you eat matzah? Why there was no time? Shle hispi betzeka shal avasein. We had no time. Lahach mitzu become chomets. Ache nigla lehem elech machalochem akizbrocha vigolem. And now the question is, beforehand we already got the mitzvah of matzah and rei mechlit to eat matzah. And now, and now he asks another question that the Nikla Lai Melech Macham Lochi was, when was the, was the time Hashem was revealed? Was after Katsois. The Mitzvah Matzim Rene Michliu back then in Mitzrayim was Koinim Katsois, before Katsois. Because the Pesach, you can't eat after Katsois. Pesach, you need to eat before Katsois. And now in our times where we eat the Matzim, Chem Matzim, you know, is also before Katsois. So he's asking, how is it that we are eating matzah now before chatzois because of the matzah that they ate after, after chatzois and the time that they had to eat it before chatzois. <laughs> and now he's also going, now and now he's, he continues asking also. So 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 he, he starts and he, 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 the Tanya the altar is explaining like this: the reason for be'er bechli matzis. So you look at the posik matzis is with the vo- the letter of matzah is without a vav. When it, by the by the posik of a yoifi igus matzah is with a vav. Now what's the point of a vav? The vav shows an amshache. It's mamshech. Amshamshech. Amshoch. Mamshech. A vav achibur. Yeah, but it's a, it's, it's amshache. So you know it. We ke vav ke. The vav is always bringing from hey down to the vav. The hey. So vav is always amshache. So he's explaining that there is two different types of matzah. There's a matzah without a vav, and there's a matzah with a vav. And we are eating, what are our mitzvah to eat matzah? The matzah with the vav. That's why we're saying matzah shinoich shimo. we're eating it because of the matzah that they baked after chatzos. So we are eating now matzahs with a vav. We're eating it before chatzos because of the matzah that they ate after chatzos. Not, a, not as a memory as the matzah they ate in Mitzrayim, the Eftech Limatzis, or only the Matzah date after Chatzis. So he's starting to explain now. We, we won't go in, we ju- I'll just repeat the points. So the point that he's in the, in the second chapter is explaining like this We need to understand why Hashem Bechlal made that a person needs to eat food. Why is it so? When we, there's Daimon Tzemeh Chay Medaber, yeah, there's four levels. The highest one is Medaber, the people who keep the talk. So why is it that we have to eat Sameach and Chai? Why is it we have to eat something which is lower than us? And this gives us the highest, otherwise we starve and we die. Why is it so? He explains that, the, that it comes from the Rizal, that the person, the Chai, is not the bread, not, is not the bread that he's eating. That means, in other words, that the chais is the moitzi piyavai. But the question is, even in a person, is also part of moitzi piyavai. How, do, how did we get created? Also by one of the Sarim Amor. So we also have a chais. So again, it's, it, we need to understand why is it that we need to eat bread? So he explains like this. So he's explained that there's oilem atikun, there's oilem atoyu. Oilem atoyu was higher up than oilem atikun. And now it's not the time to elaborate on that. And Oilem Atoyi were all the middles without his colorless, meaning to say that they weren't, they weren't, um, how you call it, they didn't, refined. not only refined, they were, they weren't, not, how do you call it, they called, they collaborate and they work together. So what happened was when Chesed is Chesed all the way, and Givir is Givir all the way, you, you, the world can't continue, cannot continue because it gets, gets a Shvir To get together. Have to get together in order, order to create a harmony to get things together. Otherwise, everyone does his own point and there's harm on the world. So, and the, going to Samoshlam, Oyle Matoi, in Oyle Matoi, there was a Shvir Sakalim. And then, and all the Nitzaitis fell down. And this is the source of all the Tavis Tanugim on this world. And we belong, the human beings are from Oyle Matikin. And then Hashem made Oyle Matikin and created the new world. 
and we have to eat all the food, this gives us the highest, we elevate the food, we elevate the, the sparks that fell, that fell down, and we get highest from it because it's from oil and that's and that and that's why and that's why he explains that the Nachma says in the Gemara that he explained the next day explained something that it was asked question that day before and I said the reason why I didn't explain you yesterday is because I haven't eaten um, beef I didn't I didn't get a chance to eat so I I didn't I didn't have the understanding. So basically, the, the food that he ate gave him, he lived, oh, yeah. the, gave him not only koyach, it gave him added to his conscious mind to understand things better. Why? Because there's chayas in it, and the chayas that it gave elevated him to a higher level, so he was able to understand better. And that's, and, and, and it continues in the third chapter. With this, we can also understand why is it so that a child you know, a child cannot understand and notice. The Gemara says, "Anidi Tinik doesn't know and doesn't notice his father. He cannot call Abba only after he eats grain." And we, and why is it so? Because he because he starts getting the highest out of the grain. Oh. And this highest adds to his conscious mind. He should understand things better. Mm-hmm. So this is in Gashmias, and the same thing is in Rochnias. That we take the the chayes that that's 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 is, that is in the food. This gives us chayes that we are able to to elevate ourselves, elevate our soul, and start de- doing avodas Hashem in a higher level. And now he explains like this: matzah, matzah chometz is akbar. Chometz is is gaiva. It raises. It's um, and matzah is humility. It's it's it's, it's um. And so the chayas that comes from shiftless and achnoa, and when a person sins, it comes from, he will always sin from a point of gavit. But chametz is bitl, shiftless, humility. So, and therefore, matzah, 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 sorry, matzah, matzah. So when we eat matzah, we are getting the chayas out of the matzah. This gives us a lot of chayas that we should be able to be misgaber on the Yetzirah. That's why there is a marshal that Chazal say always the soil should be isem akiv. They call the yitzharah as the as the yeast of the dough. Yeast. Why is it? Because the chometz, the yitzharah, he's he's um is he, yeah he gets people to arrogance, ar- arrogance, and uh, arrogance. Yeah, to sin, and therefore so he explains like this: so all the tithes and everything, everything comes from gaiva, and therefore people when we were all in Mitzrayim. We were very, very tied up to all the tithes and all the sin and all the avayr over there. Oh, deep in. And we were deep, deep in Gashmias, deep in the, mm-hmm. the, the tithes. And it, Iker of Yitzis, Mitzrayim was the awe that Hashem came with Moiri Godel, the Gilush Hashem was able, elevated each and every one of us, took us out of the 49 levels of Tumah, and it was, were, was Mekabla, Mekarvas to Hashem. So when we eat the men, the matzah, the matzah, the matzah gives us that or that Hashem gave us the back then. And also he explains, a matzah is also a muna. Why? The matzah of a muna. Why is it? Because a person is mevatl himself and he's not looking for anything. He believes with a minna to hear it. And that, this, 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 this is Moshe, the person in the neshama through the mitzvah of Achilles matzah. So, so basically, when we eat now matzah, we get the emunah and we get chayes to avoid the Hashem. But he explained that this matzah, there's two levels of matzah. There's yira tato, there's yira lor. And the way always is, we start we start with the lower level of yira, and then we go up to the higher level. And, the, and back then in Mitzrayim, because we were in the, in the Memte Shara Timah, so we needed to start off with the lower level, and then go up to the higher level, a higher level which, which was after Chatzos, after Gilish Chene. So he says the lower level needs Shmire. It, it, it could be Ainika Sachetzoinim, it needs Shmire. That's what, and so back then they couldn't, they had to start with, start with this point and then go up. <laughs> but now, The high level of matzah, you don't need even shmiras from him and some yeshes. Why? Because it says the chetzoyim has 
they have no pull, they have no influence on that. So we are eating now before Chatzois, the matzah that they ate after Chatzois because we have Torah mitzvahs. And through Torah mitzvahs that we are doing the whole year, we are already getting in a higher level than they didn't were back then in Mitzrayim before they started with eating matzah. So therefore, when we eat matzah, we are eating it before Chatzois, but we're not eating the, the lower level of matzah they ate. We're not eating the matzah that they ate back then in Mitzrayim before Chatzois. We are eating the Vayoyfis matzahs, Eagles matzahs, um, the Eagles matzah that was with the Vov, which was, had, had already the Gilish Chene, had already the higher level of matzah. So we are not eating plain matzah. We are eating matzah that has the same power that they had back then in Mitzrayim. Um, with the after the Gilish Chene, the, the Jews escaped Mitzrayim, they went out of exile, and they had the Gilish Chene. So we are going to have it now when we eat this matzah. So this matzah brings us, not only we eat just to remember, which the Zeche would be enough if we eat it, the Zeche, the first matzah that we ate, but we're eating actually the second level of matzah, because the matzah is having an influence on us it's not only to remember, but it also influences us in a spiritual level, connects us, it gives us a muna, which is the first night, and the second night, the Zohar says, is makhle, makhle, the asfase, heals the person, the gashmi is, the is. So, 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 so as, as we approach now, matzah, it's, you know, we just went through fast, and the, it, it's something we need to learn and really Make an achana, everything. You know, same as we have to do achana to get out the chometz out. We need to get an achana, an achana, achana in ourselves <laughs> to prepare ourselves um, and spiritually, emotionally, ruchniyus to learn the memoriam, to learn about the yomtiv. And like this, when we learn, we'll be able to connect in Metz Hashem. We should be zoyche to the neichel sham in azvachim in absochim, which already have the beast Mashiach, the be Mashiach. Now we should be able already to. Celebrate the eating of Mitzrayim this year of Mitzrayim, uh, this year of Matzah. She eat already in Shalim, Mira Kodesh, Bemheira Beimaini, and we also know, and we also know there's Gila Kloli, there's Gila Prati. When Anaim says always, there's there's um, Chodesh Nissan is a is a Chodesh that Yeshua's boy makifos. A lot of Yeshua's in Chodesh Nissan, and every person he says could get healed. Uh, and can have a personal issue because we can have a geula prot kloli when we are waiting. The geula we should all get out of exile, mm-hmm. and every person has his own exile in ruchnius and even in gashmius. He says a person could have could be liberated by from his own gollus, from the gollus mm-hmm. that he is in spiritually, emotionally, physically. By doing what? What? By doing all these mitzvahs. By doing the mitzvahs, yes, and the chodesh is a special chodesh. So we should all have the Gila Kloli and the Gila Prati. We should all have all the Nisim and all the... And sure. we should be... And the main thing should be, as we can see them, we, we don't think about ourselves, we're busy about Hashem. So we are waiting for Bis Mashiach. Amen. Oh, yeah. The fair has to talk. Talk See, about the Nisim. I heard that, that since... Uh, yeah. that, that the whole night is guarded on the... On the night of Is that why she always say Shmurim? Yeah, that's also, yeah, in the Lachay, yes, because that's Shmurim. Well, Shmurim, yes. 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 Good in Devon. David, be well. Yashakoa, beautiful job. Beautiful job. And Rabbi, Rabbi Vigler and Zirkin put together uh, 16 pages that oh, well, Pesach yeah. through Cholamoid. You can get it at uh, myonyisrael.net. 16 pages. Beautiful.